Hey guys, this is No Destination. And today we are exploring Kamala Beach. In this video, we will explain why you should definitely visit this amazing and extraordinary beach here in Phuket. And if we're talking about Kamala Beach, let's start at the beach. And the first thing you're gonna notice when you arrive to Kamala Beach, that it's way less busy than touristy beach like Patong or Bang Tao. The water is way cleaner. And the reason for that is way less attractions like jet skis or these like flying parachutes. They only have, uh, I think, like these surfboards and wakeboards, which are pretty fun and pretty cheap. The next advantage of Kamala Beach is that they have way less uh, beach vendors trying to sell you sunglasses, watches, sunscreen, aloe. You'll see they have everything, which could be really great on holidays. You don't want to be like sold every two or five minutes, which happens in Patong Beach. Uh, next advantage, they actually have horses. We've been on lots of beaches in Phuket and actually I think this is the only beach from what I know that has this uh, activity, uh, this activity yeah. attraction. You can rent out a horse and ride on the beach, which could be romantic or really cool Instagram pic. Also you can find dogs like this. They have lots of beach doggies and they are really friendly. Uh, you can pet them. And the last thing I want to talk about is what? Sunbeds. Okay. So when you come to the beach, there's two ways to relax. You can get the towel, but usually the sand is not as pretty. Yeah, it's clean, it's nice, it's Thailand, but still you want a sunbed because it's super hot. The sun is shining, even now in this like rainy season. Yeah, look at us, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's hot. So you will probably have to rent out a sunbed. And usually these sunbeds go from 100 baht to 200 baht. And for some reason, Kamala Beach is a bit more expensive. So it will cost you 200 baht for a whole day which I think is still a pretty good deal. And if you rent out uh, the sunbed, you can use it the whole day and you get like these local people help helping you out. You'll get uh, this menu so you can order juices, coconuts, yeah. even food. And if you're on a budget, of course, you can bring your own stuff. Just buy it at some local 7-Eleven and this way it's gonna be four or five times cheaper, but not maybe as, uh, I would say, authentic <laughs> as buying yeah. from locals. So these are kind of the basics of the beach. Of course, there's more attractions. And now let's move to the hope. Enough with the beach, let's talk about the entertainment. Literally 10 meters away, you can find a tourist walking street here where you can find a lot of different restaurants, massages, or like mini shops with souvenirs or clothes. So everyone here is coming mostly at the evening when you have this beautiful sunset. Actually, we're having right now one and it's getting even busier and a lot of families and especially couples come here just to relax and enjoy their evening. So overall the vibe is super family friendly. You can come here for a romantic like dinner, you can come with kids, grandparents, so it's really different uh, on these terms. There are not that many working girls, strip clubs, all that stuff Thailand and Phuket yeah. is famous for. So this is different and also they have lots of different restaurant choices yeah you can choose here from thai food which is really nice and not that expensive to like try eat european food we really recommend try local thai food because it's really nice and it's super budget friendly yeah you can eat like for 100 baht even sometimes 50 baht and if you're in thailand you have to eat thai food you have to so yeah basically they have almost everything it's a bit different experience than like in the other beaches. I talked about it a lot. I feel like yeah. I mentioned it like five times. So it's different. That's why we decided to pick this place and talk about it. So let's probably walk to the tourist street and see what they have. Yeah, I'm going to show you some examples. Yeah. So for example, if you want to get a jet ski, you see the prices. So one hour, 5,000 baht, 30 minutes. But the best part is you can always negotiate the prices. During maybe the high season, the prices are more, maybe more set. But if you see the, the seller is not really busy, you can always ask for the discount. And usually, yeah, they want to make money. So yeah, after that, they have these kind of tourist kiosks where you can buy all the different attractions. So you can see island tours and all kinds of like uh, tiger shows. But uh, we personally would recommend buying these tickets online, online yeah. because you can check the prices. If you go to kiosk, uh, it's really too hard to yeah. bargain because you don't know the price, and they say you, for example, five thousand baht, and you like, it's the really price, and also check the prices online. Yeah, for sometimes sure. you can get like this tourist price, 
and even if you negotiate maybe the price starting price was really crazy high so usually we use uh, clock clock.com I think it's gonna be in the description and we're also working on the full video about uh, all the apps you need to use so also subscribe and here also the massages so you can check the prices for the massages so yeah the prices are good then you can get the massage like right here on the beach so yeah beach view for the massage and of course if you're buying massage with the beach view it's a bit more expensive yeah like literally you can compare the prices here on the beach is like 300 350 for one hour just for foot massage and literally a couple of streets away from here you can find the same massage for 200 baht so it's even, a really big difference even 100 150 yeah. and the quality massages but if you like the view yeah. if you like having some sand between you and oil mm -hmm. <laughs> this could be a choice for you basically just you're just paying for the view next up with kamala they have these hotels which is only i feel like in kamala because in more busy beaches they don't have the hotels with like a swimming pool and windows straight uh to the sea and they're really affordable because if you go like to super touristy again place again let's go for patong you're gonna pay like way more for these kind of like apartments and here they are cheap because i think maybe not that many people come here to party so it's cheaper and we talked about the restaurants so yeah you can see the whole street with the restaurants covered and lastly if you're coming to Kamala to party and for a good nightlife Kamala has you covered behind us there is one of the biggest uh, beach clubs in Phuket and one of the best place to party and we're gonna do a separate video about this place so subscribe uh, all I can say it's a really great place with great music with a nice pool great DJs but it's a bit pricey so yeah subscribe to see the full review about Cafe Del Mar this was a quick Kamala beach tour and let us know in the comments if you are interested to see a longer video about Kamala neighborhood. And if you have any questions about Phuket or any of these neighborhood beaches, clubs, restaurants, just drop your question in the comments. And of course, 